What's the best RC car I could buy? I'm here to help you out. And for the rest of this year, I'm gonna release some top five videos that will help you in your quest to find the best RC car for you. Starting with this video, the top five Basher RC cars of 2022. Now the cars you're about to see have been reviewed here on the channel. Stuff that I've personally tested and I'm confident in telling you they're great RC cars for you to check out. I'll have links to each one of those car reviews in the video description below, as well as links to the websites in case you want to get some more information. Smash that subscribe button while you're there, the like button. Now let's dive into the top five. Number five on the list is the Team Corrali Skeeter. When it comes to Team Corrali cars, there are some diehard fans behind these machines and I like their offerings but this one in particular has really captured my interest. I call this truck a tank in the review and it is. It's based on a four-wheel drive buggy platform however converted to a truck the body isn't the greatest body. I will say that. However, the truck itself really performs and it's such a solid machine. It's so much fun. It runs on 4S. They have some robust electronics in here that powers this truck just right. It does wheelies. It handles really well, just like a buggy does. It's really well braced to take a ton of abuse. They've got chassis braces in the center, thick shock towers, thick chassis. Truck is dialed in. It's really one to consider they have a great website you can get parts through there if you ever need them and we're starting to see some more companies create aftermarket parts for this which means they're really going to take on basher pick number four is the arma outcast 4s now for those of you that are regular viewers you're probably saying but greg you blew up two tires on this truck how could you possibly like it it is a wild stunt machine and that's what i was doing with it i was going wild with it punching the throttle probably a little bit too much just trying to correct some crashes and it blew up the tires however this truck truly performs. I put this beast through a lot. The body is all smashed up on it. The arms are missing chunks of plastic. Yes, I did shred two tires on it. The rear is all scraped up. The bottom of the chassis is scraped up, but it's a true Arma beast. They built this truck up to just take a ton of abuse. They got a really good spectrum system in here that gives it plenty of power from the factory. So you could do some wild stunts. The steering servo could be bumped up a little bit. It, but uh, I'm actually still running the stock servo in there. The Spectrum radio system that comes with it works just fine. If you like big jumps, if you like doing tricks and wheelies, the Outcast, you know, is a great truck to go with. This one is priced just right. And of course, if your budget is bigger, they have a 6S version and the 8S version as well. But this 4S version will blow your mind with bashing intensity. Truck number three on the list, the Traxxas Sledge. The Traxxas Sledge actually had a rough start coming into 2022. A lot of people called it a copy, not understanding that this truck was built for the Truggy class. There's a lot of new people in this hobby and they made the mistake. However, what I did was I made a comparison video to clearly show this is not a copy and it's just a class competitor and a really good one at that. This truck was built by Traxxas to hold up to a lot of bashing abuse and people really took that to be a challenge, just driving this thing like wild, sending it. And for the most part, it took a lot of abuse. There are still ways to break a truck. People found it, but I've had really good luck with this truck. All of my modifications have been just for the fun of it to customize it because Traxxas has tons of cool aftermarket parts to make this your own truck. Now performance wise this thing handles absolutely awesome. It is more race truggy like however you can go big air with this thing. It handles the bumps and jumps really well. Plenty of steering and plenty of power right from the factory. The truck has the Valenium power system in there. It runs on 4S and it's just a true monster when you're driving it. If you like the way this truck looks, I've been modifying it. We're going to have a project on the channel, and it's just another reason you should smash that subscribe button. Basher number two on my list, the Arma Fire Team. I have to admit, when the Arma Fire Team landed on our doorstep, I was a little bit baffled on what this machine was. What was its purpose? It was totally different from everything else that we we're used to, but after driving it, I became an instant fan. This 6S powered beast is a true monster in the bashing field. And this beast took all the abuse I threw at it. It is a tough rig from Arma. These wild tires on here have plenty of traction, yet lots of stability. The cage and bodywork on here, pretty interesting looking, and it takes a ton of abuse as well. I have some cracked body panels on here, but it's totally acceptable for the amount of action this basher puts out. What's really, really cool about this is it has Arma's handbrake on here. So you could flip a switch and you could just spin the rear of this truck around, punch the throttle and keep on going. It's so cool to watch. 
The electronics that come from the factory have plenty of power to it. Again, you can run it up to 6S. The chassis is really well braced. Love the pivot ball suspension. The shocks are super plush. And man, this thing has just been so much fun. It's been a little bit quiet on the radar lately, but it's definitely one you should consider if you're looking for a great basher. And number one on my list for 2022, the new Traxxas XRT. Now I did debate putting this on my list because it is so new. However, I've got a bunch more runs in on this truck since my initial review of it. And so far it is still absolutely awesome. I took it over to a friend's racetrack and just beat the heck out of it there. In fact, let him and another buddy drive it and they really drove this thing hard and it put up with everything that they put it through and they absolutely loved it as well. I think they already have their orders in on it, but this new beast is a wild one. What I really like about this truck is it's a performance-based truck. Yes, it's a bastard truck, but it's lower to the ground than the X-Max, so it handles a lot better. And for me, who used to be a racer, I just love the feel of how this thing drives. It has lots of power out of the box. It could go even faster with the included optional gearing going up to 60 miles an hour. It jumps super smooth. The suspension on here, although set up for a nimble feel, works really well out of the box. And of course you could go ahead and tune it depending on how you're going to drive it but it's set up well. I did break a wing mount on it, if you saw my review, and a tie rod, but I've quickly replaced those and it has just been a monster ever since. It is a big machine and it does have a heavy price tag to it, but you're getting a lot of truck here that will just provide you plenty of action and lots of bashing fun. There you have it, the RC Driver Top 5 Bashers of 2022, based on stuff I tested here on the channel. Now I know I haven't tested every basher out there. Let me know what your top five would be for this year.